Hey guys, how y'all doing tonight? Paul here. Got a uh, another review for you in the Mylon Tobacco series. Uh, we're doing five of those. I've done three already. This will be number four. Um, the one we're going to talk about a little bit tonight is Sportsman. Mylon Sportsman. And I'll read to you um, what is in it and what it says on the website. So let's see here. Says a long time customer favorite Sportsman is an aromatic blend of black Cavendish, light and dark Burleys, and a touch of Virginia for a sweet taste. The blend is rich and smooth with subtle flavors of vanilla, butternut, and hints of cherry and pineapple on the finish. You'll enjoy a cool, slow burning smoke, pleasant aroma with a bowl full of Sportsman in your pipe. Now, um, Sportsman, it is, let's see here. As it said, Cavendish, Burley, and a little bit of Virginia. And uh, you can see in here, um, in the, I don't know how well that'll show up. Let's see, you can see most of it's dark, most of it's the Cavendishes, but you can see the lights in there, the Virginia, Virginias as well. If I can clean some of this, I just spilled off my keyboard. Sorry, sorry about that. I hope that wasn't too loud for you. We're in an apartment complex at 11.30 at night, and the neighbor thinks it's a good idea to honk his horn. So, sorry about that. Um, the joys of apartment living. But, um, so, see the component tobaccos there. The cut on it is uh, like these other uh, Mylon uh, aromatic blends that, I, that I've been reviewing. Um, it's, it's a pretty chunky cut. Um, I've compared it in one of the other videos to the Frog Morton series from McClellan, and it, it's pretty accurate for this one as well. Um, no problems with it. It packs and burns just fine. Um, requires very few relights if you're actually just sitting down smoking and not trying to make a video. Um, the smell of this one, the, the tin note, um, it smells very sweet. And I'll tell you, it says a hint of vanilla and butternut um the butternut or I, I compare the smell to a butterscotch it um it really comes through in the aroma um more so than the the taste um you can smell it but you don't really notice that on the taste itself um what you do get on the taste is You taste the vanilla, obviously, that's one of the main uh, flavorings in it. Um, you do taste that. The cherry is very subtle. Um, you can taste it sometimes, and other times I really don't get it. What sets this apart from the other aromatics that, that I've had is that pineapple flavoring. It is pretty noticeable, and it's different. Um, when I first smoked this blend, I thought... This reminds me a lot of the Celebration mixture. Um, I believe that was the first one we, we reviewed, and I thought that this reminded me a lot of that. So, so much so that I, I grabbed a cob and uh, two of them and packed a bowl of each. I said I wanted to smoke it side by side and see the difference, and it wasn't quite as similar as my mind had remembered um, because that pineapple flavor does indeed set it apart. And it's, it's very pleasant, I will say, that, that flavor, if, you, you know, if I'm in the mood for an aromatic, um, that pineapple gives it a, a little twang, it gives it a little, little hint of, of sweet slash sour. Um, and it really is, it really does taste good, um, um, I like it. So that is the main difference uh, between it and, and your, your standard aromatic. You don't see many with that pineapple flavoring. But it tastes very nice. Um, the room note, or the balcony note, in my case, on this one, um, very pleasant. Um, it lives up to the aromatic designation for sure. It it, it smells amazing. Um, I will say about this one, it is not quite as sweet on the palate. You can, pardon me, you can taste the the pineapple, the vanilla, a little hint of cherry, but you get the flavors of those things without a, it's not syrupy sweet. And I like that. Um, 
that's one thing that turns me off of a lot of aromatics is that syrupy sweetness. This one's not like that. Um, the, the sweetness is subtle, and like I've mentioned before in some of the other videos, it does die down as the, as you get down in the bowl. As you get down into the bowl, and that sweetness does fade, you get some of the nuttiness from the burley, and it works really good. This is another another high quality aromatic from my line guys it's um if you like aromatics if you want to experiment with them these guys the quality of their tobaccos is i mean it's as good as any i've tried from anybody um, i'm going to put a link to my line tobacconist <clears throat> in the in the description down there um, and once again the reason we're reviewing these is tobias over at the cigar bum um, had, had wanted us to do it he had sent some samples out to several guys wanting to spread the word about my line and um, if you enjoy aromatics or English blends, if you're not an aromatic smoker, they have wonderful uh, English blends. I have smoked the um, um, King's Ransom is, is one of their English blends that I've smoked, and it is, it's really nice English. And like I said, they, um, it's not just their house blends. They sell a variety of, of cigars, accessories, pipe tobaccos, tins, as well as bulk. So give them a shot, guys. I'll put a link to them in the description, and I'll also put a link to Cigar Bum. If you like discussion forums and you're in the pipe and cigar smoking hobby, go to the Cigar Bum and check it out. Wealth of knowledge, tons of really nice people um, just enjoying this hobby. That's all I've got this time, guys. This has been Mylon Sportsman. Um, if you like aromatics, give it a whirl, guys. Till next time, go forth and do good.